February 7. Hear my prayer. When my rock is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Psalms chapter 61 verse 2 King James Version. The Lord never leaves nor forsakes us. He hears our prayer. Have you felt hopeless, lonely, and as if you were in the dark alone? I have had these feelings and more, but God has always shown me, one way or another, that He is working things out for me and that it will be okay. In 1984, I was a teenager in Jamaica trying to find my sister. She lived in a rural area in St. James and I was visiting her from Westmoreland. I got on a bus whose road led down a lonely dark road. Suddenly, we passengers saw some type of activity on the road ahead. A major accident had occurred. Our bus had to stop. Everyone will have to walk from here, the driver announced. I did not know anyone on the bus or how to get back home or to my sister's house. I murmured to myself, how will I ever find where she lives? Where who lives? Asked the young man seated beside me. When I told him my sister's name, he responded, Oh, I know her. She just moved to a house in my area. I could not believe what I was hearing. On a bus full of strangers, the person sitting next to me knew my sister. The young man held my arm in the crook of his big warm arm and began walking with me for over three hours. The time it took to arrive finally at my sister's house. Though the man was twice my size and height, I was not scared. I felt safe holding his hand although I did not know his name. He led me to my sister's house. Today, if you feel as if you are lost in the dark, please remember that God hears your prayer. He has angels on each corner along your journey. When your heart is overwhelmed, He will lead you to the rock that is higher than yourself. So please pray with me now. Dear God, open our eyes to see your blessings. Focus our attention on your love. Hide the fears and doubts that haunt us and lead us to the rock that is higher than we are. Amen. Now accept God's answer and flourish in his loving embrace. Pauline E. Robinson